Hey, you spoken to Angelo yet? He's probably in some bar somewhere drowning his sorrows. Not me can blame the guy. I never meant to hurt him. I never meant for any of this to happen. Well, maybe you should have thought of that before you cheated on him. But... I tell you what, darling, why don't you leave home, eh? You're no good to anyone in this state. Not off you go. Look, for what it is worth, I am sorry. Well, unfortunately, it's not really worth much. Do you want to go easy on her a bit? She's feeling bad enough as it is. Yeah, well, how do you think Angelo's feeling? His phone's turned off. Maybe I should go look for him. Sure. Makes you feel better. The guy's in pain. You could at least pretend to care. Just in time. Dinner's ready. You'll stay, won't you? Ah, oh, thanks, but I should keep looking for Angelo. He was in a pretty bad way last time I saw him. Serves him right for being such a jerk. Val cheated on him. What does she expect? Hey, come on. It's a complicated situation, so let's just agree to disagree, huh? The only reason she didn't tell him was because she didn't want to hurt his feelings. What, did you know about this? About Val and Aiden being together while she was still seeing Angelo? Okay, Aiden lives here. And it's not like he told us to the very end, anyway. Us? What, you knew about this too? Glass of wine. Anyone? Yes, please. Why didn't you say anything? I told Aiden I thought he was making a mistake, but he didn't listen to me. So what else was I supposed to do? Well, you could have given Angelo the heads up. Or, well, at least told me. I mean, I work with the guy. He's my partner. Unless, of course, you think it's all right to go behind someone's back. Don't be ridiculous. I should go. Yeah, someone needs to look out for Angelo. Sorry. I've left you a million messages. You okay? Yeah, besides a dirty big hangover. Well, you should have called me. I could have done with a night out myself. And listen, for the record, I get where you're coming from. You know, Belle's got a lot to answer for. Yeah, look, about last night, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to turn your meeting into a fiasco. It just kind of happened. Mm. And now I'm probably the laughing stock of the town, too. Look, no one's laughing at you, okay? Promise. Why don't you go home for a few hours, sleep off some of that hangover? You know, I think it would take more than a few hours to sleep this off. I'll just go home and stew anyway. Okay. Well, at least let me buy you a coffee and something hot and greasy to go with it, okay? You should see him. He looks like he totally wiped himself out last night. It's no good. You're still on Bell and side, right? Oh, come on, let's not go there, all right? No, I just want to know, that's all. Where do you draw the line? Friends, family, your own relationships? Oh, what, just because I don't agree with you, I'm suddenly the cheating type too, am I? I didn't say that. You didn't have to. I'm sorry. You're right. I just can't understand how anyone can deliberately lie to someone they're supposed to care about. I mean, you tell the truth, you live with the consequences, and that's it. Well, I think sometimes people lie because they know something's going to hurt somebody. Yeah, it's called being gutless. Thanks, I'll see you later. Looks like you've got your hands full with that one. Well, Angelo's a mate. She's entitled to be upset. Upset, yes. Not channeling his pain. I'd have thought after me you'd have been cured of high-maintenance women forever. Apparently not. Hey. I've come to apologise. You're right. All this stuff with Belle and Angelo has nothing to do with us and I should just learn to keep my opinions to myself. Oh. Nat and Nicole organised dinner. We would have invited you, but we just didn't really think it was your thing. But since you are here, why don't you join us? Oh, thanks, but I'll leave you guys to it. Oh, don't be silly. There's plenty for everyone. No. Please don't insist. That's fine. Yeah, enjoy yourself. We will. You know, you're lucky you can have such a nice dinner because some people aren't so fortunate. What? Well, Angelo, for example. Charlie. What? The guy's in pain and no one here seems to give a damn. What? Are you kidding me? What about what happened to Belle? Aiden, come on. Forget about it. Let's just go. No, I mean, we... We haven't even finished dinner, and we've still got dessert. We're all just trying to move on. Yeah, well, it's not so easy for Angelo. Are you for real? Hey. Thanks for dinner, guys. Sorry. No. What happened to this not being any of our business? Look, I'm sorry, but it's just the way I feel. Well, if you couldn't handle it, then maybe you should have left. Okay, well, maybe I'll go now. Thank you so much for stopping by. Is this you taken? No. 
Roman's given me my marching orders. I'm to be out by 0600 hours. What? He's asked you to leave? Yeah. Well, it was bound to happen sooner or later. I mean, since Nick and I have patched things up anyway. I just kind of hurried it along by telling him something he didn't want to hear. Mm. Well, welcome to my world. If I could keep my big mouth shut, maybe Roman and I wouldn't fight so much. <laughs> that works. Relationship, no communication. Personally, I think it's great that you say what you feel. I mean, you can't not be yourself. And if Roman can't handle that, then maybe he's not worth it. But he is worth it. I mean, he can be totally annoying and frustrating and very stubborn sometimes. But I've never met anyone like him. I really think he could be the one. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't even think of how that must make you feel. Oh, no. Trust me, there are absolutely no residual feelings between Roman and me. Well, where are you going? He's probably had time to cool off, so I'm going to go and do what I do best. Apologise. Uh, are you sure that's a good idea? I mean, you know, you said yourself, Roman can be so stubborn. We'll be right. We're always all right after a fight. See you, Natalie. Bye. I was wondering how much longer you were going to put up with her. You can be a bit pushy sometimes. Yeah, she certainly can. I mean, it's been good having her around. We finally got things back on track, so thanks. You're welcome. Look, it's a school day tomorrow, so why don't you get an early one? Yeah. Okay. Good night. Good night. this is getting boring me turning up all the time and apologizing but I just want to say I am really sorry about tonight and it's just the same old story my mouth gets the better of me and I don't know next thing you know it's World War 3 but I am gonna make a real effort to change my ways see I don't have to be high maintenance Charlie I, I don't want you to change you're fine the way you are I do think we should stop seeing each other. What? What are you talking about? We're not working. I'm sorry. <laughs> 